from the opening day. Joachim Lagergren, the par 5, 18th. Great roll, good chance for birdie there, but that in for par, round of 66 and five under par. Ashen Wu also making great progress on this course. Birdie attempt at the par 3, 17th. How did that not stay in? Rice right smile from him. Make amends though at the final hole. Got his birdie there. He too carded a round of 66. So as we join the action, it's a four-way tie at the top. Lagergren and Wu back in the clubhouse. Plenty of players queuing up behind them. Just a single shot back at four under. Let's get you out onto the golf course and join up with our commentary team. Two great shots into the 18th for Ricard Kohlberg. So this to get himself in a share of the lead. Good roll. Oh, it's a perfect stroke. Little doff of the cap there. Very stylish today. And a very stylish round of golf. This is Nacho Elvira. Going along very smoothly. And even better now. Ball above his feet. Good lie, though, so no problem with the quality of the strike. Just got to try and keep it on line. Go on, bounce up and on the green. Oh. And unfortunately, the angle he's played is going to have to drop quite a long way back. He's going to play away from the flag. He's not even bothered to look at it. So sharp is the downslope to the hole. You can see, for a big fella, it's a very awkward stance. He's played it well. Yeah, it was good. He got the distance right, didn't he, playing away there? I'd have loved to have seen the great Sevi Ballesteros go in there. That would have been going straight at the flag with spin. <laughs> would have set his body differently. He'd have put some speed in and still second round of golf. He's going to be hugely disappointed. So just to power at the last, but it is an opening 66 for Sammy Valamaki. And a six-way tie at the top of the leaderboard. I, I'm going to say here, Tony, he's nervous. He doesn't like this one, does he? But anything on the green is a good shot. Yeah, he's not looking overly confident. Uh, that's okay. Maybe we misread his body, his body language a little. You're going okay. I'm going very good indeed. McIntyre just 73 yards into the par five sixth. That's unlucky. Done nothing wrong there. That was a good stroke. Power at the last in the end, then D3 round in 66. Tied with those in a share of second place at five under par. Nicely done, two under par through the first six holes. No drop shots out there today for Robert McIntyre, who played nicely here last week as well, and he's brought that confidence forward. It is Spain's Nacho Elvira who leads the way. Six holes to play for the Spaniard from a big group at five under, including the talented Belgian Thomas Dietrich. 
Jamie Donaldson for a closing birdie to get into that group at five under par. Nicely done, continues his good recent form. Nice stroke from Waring. And I was about to say, Dom, every time I hear him interviewed, he's so softly spoken. And as I say, he's such a really nice, warm person to, to, to meet and spend time with. For Birdie. Had a good chance to win at the Cyprus Open last week. Unfortunately finished the par five, not in style. He knocked it in the water twice on the 72nd hole. A little bit costly, but he took it in his stride like he takes, takes everything in his stride. A great attitude and a player to watch. Now, for wearing his chip was to blame there in the Bermuda behind the green and tried to spin it. You heard him say it didn't quite get the spin that I wanted it to. And I believe, Tony, that this Bermuda grass, you never try and play for spin or expect spin. It is a bogey at 15 for the leader. So now seven tied at five under par as Nacho drops one. There was no hanging back, was there? Absolute commitment. And he's screaming at it to get down. He'll be happy now. He took it on, didn't he? The youngster. Fearless. Nacho Alvira has been having issues of his own. This for a par. Imagine how many players today have bogeyed 15 and 16. 16, the toughest hole at 4.55. James Morrison, eagle putt, and an excellent effort. As good as anything we've seen from that back edge today on 18 player who looked at his game during lockdown and decided to simplify things decided to take ownership of his swing so he dispensed with his some of his coaching staff and is making his own way Nacho Elvira second shot at the par 3 17th So that left to remain just one back from the lead. Six-way tie at the top at five under par. Sebastian Heisler. Oh, lovely birdie putt. Moves him into a huge group of the two unders. And that's still the mark. Looking ahead towards making the top 32 and ties at the close of play tomorrow to be into the weekend in this new format event. Elvira then. Oh dear. Oh, it's a bit of a push and it's a bit of a way back as well. He's going to have a bit of a think about that one. Wilco Ninaba. Trying to start the back nine afresh after that triple bogey seven at the ninth. I'll get a look at Eagle coming up after that one. So, Elvira, it is the one drop shot. And the man who was leading not too long ago. 
Now back into a share of 13th place at three under par. Confirmation then of the six players sharing top spot. All back in the clubhouse after rounds of 66. You know, such is the confidence of him in his short game. He hit that low running hook with the second shot, went through the back of the green. As soon as it went over the back of the green, he went absolutely fine. Been three eagles so far at the 18th. This would be another one. Should it fall in, all the break behind the hole. McIntyre for the up and down. Smooth, silky, that's how you describe that. Oh dear, we're being told Paul Waring had his second shot out of bounds. So this for a double bogey, oh, and it's a hideous triple. Oh dear, if anything will knock you out of your stride, that certainly will. That's above the slope. Yeah. Okay. Just double checking I've got with this caddy. Well. Both ways, yeah. And that pin today, like I said, is only a four off that right hand side, 27 on. It's a big beauty, very undulating. Pitch is just four yards left, should be perfect. Stay on it. David Horsey is another one that's had a bit of a rocky time. Four time winner on the Open Tour, but he's starting to play some good golf again. Place to leave it just below the hole. It can be really aggressive straight up the hill. Good putt. It was a beauty, wasn't it, from McIntyre. Fourth birdie of the day. No drop shots out there. McIntyre to within one of the lead. After 36 holes, this wind has made a so big bad. difference here today. Bad. He's berating himself so bad, he says. For most golfers, that would be a, a decent shot. He thinks differently. He sets incredibly high standards. Well, 100% of putts left short. Don't go in. It's a good pin position. Pin today right in the middle of those two knuckles. That's why he was so disappointed. Oh, Couldn't miss, could it? Almost impossible to believe that that's not gone in. So he stays just a, a shot behind, but that was not very kind to the young Scotsman. So that is all that Matthew Jordan has left for his birdie at 10. Get him to three under par, and he rattles it home. You might just think that was a common or garden birdie four, because par five ten. It's a, it's a pretty easy par five, but take a look at the skill here. 45 yard bunker shot. The hardest shot in golf. Back towards the lake. Uh, 9.9 .9 out of 10. And I like the fact that he's self taught. This one slightly down the hill, as you can see, left to right. Oh, go in. There you go. 
the easiest of birdie twos for Aaron Cockrell. Well done. Four on the par, just a shot behind. One thing we got to find out when we did play the course ourselves on Monday is just how quick the putts are down the hills. Yes. And they're super slopey, the greens. An eagle putt at 18 for India's SSP Chaurasia. Could do with it as well, at four over. Oh, well, excellent. At least gives himself a sniff tomorrow, but he'll still have to go pretty low out there, we suspect. Might have to shoot sort of six under to make the top 32 in ties on Saturday. Yeah, as his playing partner said, they say it all really very good. He's almost back to his very best now. It's been a very popular spot there beyond the flag and in that little collection area. And we've seen most players get it up and down from there. It's an easiest chip. This is a birdie putt for Lara Tharbal. Well done. He's had three birdies, just the one bogey. It has to thump it up there because it's slow. Very proficient. Yeah, the guys are getting the hang of that putt now, aren't they? I mean, they've either been there or seen other guys leave it short. They're starting to get the idea that it is a little bit uphill at the end. What a tee shot from McIntyre here. Great birdie chance. Yes, he was due one, and I have to say this back nine owed him one. He could be at least a couple of shots better. The quality of the iron play and the putts he struck, the way he struck them. So bathed in sunshine and grabs himself a share of the lead. And improves on his Odyssey putting stats performance so far in this opening round. Paul Waring, we saw the approach shot. Oh... Yeah, that's what you call a roller coaster of a day on the golf course. We got eight players tied for the lead. Yeah, top 32 on Friday, we might have everybody on the same score the way they're going. To save par for Ross McGowan. Yep. Well, hold. Long gas for a closing birdie. Thank you very much. And there's one more at five under par. With McIntyre's birdie at 17 as well. Been a very strong back nine from Loughton. Birdie at 17 for him. Look at that. Very slow on the front nine, and he's just found his mojo on the back nine. He's found his rhythm in his golf swing. This is a par putt for Cockrell, and did he? No, miss. <clears throat> For a man, any round without a bogey is satisfying, but one with five birdies as well in those conditions, how good does it feel? 
Yeah, because uh, as you say, it's a really good one. It was really windy this afternoon, and uh, especially on the back nine, there is a really tough hole with that wind, and I managed it really well. I think uh, my best point of today was the par five because I managed to get four under on the four par five, and that was uh, the key for, for today. And yeah, my game is in good shape, and my putting is solid, so it was a good one. You shot three under last week in the first two rounds to just make the cut. Mm -hmm. This cut's going to be presumably a bit lower because there's only 32 players. Did your tactical approach change at all? No, not really. Uh, uh, I played well last week on the weekend. I made 400, 300 and with the same strategy. There is a few holes where you can hit the driver here, but at least I'm good driver, but I didn't like the, the view on that kind of hole, so I'm just laying up and uh, I mean, maybe on the back nine Saturday and sun or Sunday, if I am there, uh, I will take another, some few other options because we will need to get low and to, to, to be in position. But at the moment, I'm just focusing on same strategy and staying patient. You won for the first time on the European Tour in Wales earlier in the year. Does that sort of give you the freedom if you do make the weekend to really have a go? Because whatever happens, it's been a great year. Yeah, of course. But I I even before I won, I was in the, in the mentality that I take every run, every shot after shot, and I try to to be the best player on every shot. So the wind didn't change really. It, 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 it will change on a normal tournament if I am in position at the end of the tournament because I know I can do it. And I think it's really important when you know that you can do it. So on Sunday, it can help me. But for tomorrow and, and Saturday, it's going to be just the same as normally. Congratulations on a great start. Well played. Thank you. Thanks. So in the fading light, having made really good progress, in his round, five under for the day. This Robert McIntyre's second shot into the last. Fabulous stuff from the Scotsman. Gave him a good look at Eagle to finish off the round. Good effort, really good roll. Can't believe it didn't go in, but he would tidy that up for a birdie at the last. An unblemished six under par round of 65 from Robert McIntyre, and that means he leads by one going into day two. A tightly packed second place. Seven players sharing five under par, including Jamie Donaldson. Alex Levy in amongst those in with a 66. Grant Forrest. Amongst the big group of 68s at three under, so too Marcus Armitage, Jamie.